Alright, so this is the Asus Z77 Sabertooth motherboard. Um, so I tried taking out the VGA, but apparently there's an integrated VGA, so I can't see if that's the exact problem or something like that. I don't know. So right now I have the RAM sticks out, and it makes this noise when I start it up here. Go ahead and turn on the power. So it's trying to detect that there is a source. One and two short. One and two short. And it's kind of hard to see, but right here, there is an LED indicator, and that's supposed to be the post check to see if uh, it passed or if there's an error in it. That's the error for the memory sticks because there aren't any inserted right now, which makes sense. Uh, other ones, there's a check for the computer right here, CPU, and then there's one for the VGA right here, which I don't have inserted right now either because I was trying to do testing. I'm going to go ahead and put the memory sticks back in and show you what happens then. It's going to be a test with one RAM stick in. This is the uh, Vengeance ones. It's inserted into the second slot, I believe, which is the default Corsair Vengeance. I think these are the 8 gigabytes. Yeah, 2x8 gigabyte model. So, uh, yeah, let's try turning it on. Well, I suppose the power on might help. So we hit those two, and those two both lit up. Both the CPU and the memory module. Wow, and then it just turned off, which is interesting. So, the CPU and the memory are both turning on. And the fact that it's turning off is very odd, because it used to not do that. And that's six is the beeps that I was referring to. That's what I'm commonly getting as the air. It's not letting it get past post. And there's a light right here for your main boot device. And it's not reaching that. It's also not lighting up the VGA. And both of those two are lighting up now. But I think that's I assume that those lights turn on when it's checking for something, and then they turn off when it's been checked for. Because if you remember, when I took out all of the memory, it stayed lit. So right now it's doing some shit. I don't know what it is. Both memory sticks in the correct location. Um, they're seated correctly. They've been both clicked into place. Turn on the power and see what happens. So I get one, two, and the VGA is not lighting up. This is another issue that I've run into, where it'll literally just hang almost in post. Like it's not giving me any error beeps, it's not lighting up the VGA, it's not lighting up the boot device. However, from what I recall, it lights up CPU, memory, VGA boot device. And I have had it get past post without a VGA in it. Like it lit up and then unlit up. So there's got to be some type of integrated graphics or something where it bypasses it. Okay. Let's get the card in and do that test. Alright, so this is with the graphics card in. Plugged in, got power plugged into the motherboard. Uh, this other thing down here is just a capture card. That's all it is, internal capture card. Uh, but yeah. Got power set up to the rest of it. So let's turn it on, see what happens.
One, two, three, four, five, six. So that six beep is the thing that I was referring to when I made my note. And I noticed that it's a very different sound than when I pulled out the memory stick, so I'm wondering if it's a different component. But I'm not sure what component it could be because it seems to be coming out of the PC speaker, right? So that has to be integrated into the motherboard somehow. At least it seems like it. I'm going to play it one more time so that we can get the, uh, the, uh, error lights to light up again, so I'm going to have to power it down here in order to do that. The other thing that I noticed happens is I hard power it down, and sometimes it'll just start up on its own, like that. One, two. No video card graphics. There it is. There's the light for that. And that one just turned off, and it hit post, and you can actually see a red light. It's kind of very, very light, but you can see it for the boot device. So that means it's successfully booted up. But as you can see from the previous test, a lot of the times it doesn't. I'm checking underneath here. It looks like the fans are spinning for the graphics card. So I don't think it's a graphics card issue. But yeah, usually when I see it fail, it's like one, two, and then the graphics card doesn't light up. And it either goes into the six or it doesn't start booting up at all, like it never hits post. Or it never gives me an error code. Okay, it'll probably start up on its own again. So starting up on its own again is maybe indicative of something with the power. So I have no idea. One, two, nothing. One, two. No light lighting up from the boot device, and this is usually what happens, is it just gets stuck. Either it'll do it six times, a couple times, and then it'll stop, or it'll do it six times infinitely. But uh, sometimes it'll hit six and then it'll hit post. I just, I have no idea, honestly. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's happening with my computer. Hopefully somebody can help me out with it, because I have no idea what's happening with it. I'm going to look into some of the other devices. Like maybe I can look at the graphics card manual, because that's an Asus product as well. So maybe if I send this to one of the Asus guys, you can give me some details on that. Um, it's an Asus Windforce something or other. I think it's a 770, I want to say. But uh, yeah, it just got out of post there. So I'm going to try to keep the computer on, and uh, hopefully this will help out. I'll try and get this online. See ya.